Yo, what's up, you guys? Today, I'm going to share with you a very encouraging Neville Goddard story that reveals a powerful technique that'll not only help you manifest your desires fast, but it's also a reminder to never give up. All right, here's a story. Neville Goddard had a friend who had skin cancers on his face. And so this friend went through a painful operation to try to remove them. But then it reached a point when the doctor said he couldn't give him any more radiation because not only was the operation expensive, but it was freaking painful as well. So here's what the friend did. Ready? In his imagination, he used the sense of sound, his sense of hearing, where, listen, he heard the voices of his friends congratulating him on his healing, on being completely cured. He carried on this inner conversation with his friends, where his friends say to him, well, where are they? Referring to the skin cancers. And he replies, I don't know, not even a trace that they were ever on my face. That's it. But here's the thing. This guy had a heavy beard and had to shave every day. So every time he looked in the mirror, he couldn't quite deny that they were still there. You know what I'm saying? He didn't put his hand to his face and feel the smoothness, which could have been discouraging, right? He could have been like, screw this, dude. This ain't working. But nah, he kept going. And that was a game changer, you guys. He didn't give up. He did not give up. And he persisted with the inner conversations with his friends as though the cancers were gone. Then guess what? One vanished from his face, and then another, and then another. Then boom, they all disappeared completely, just like that, as though we never had them. And so not only can imagination bring things into being, it can also take things away. It can uncreate whatever it creates. It's dope stuff. You see, here's how it works. Neville quotes William Blake where he says, you only have to raise imagination to the state of vision and the thing is done. And by vision, he means any one or a combination of the five senses, seeing, touching, tasting, smelling, and hearing. If you can sense any of these things while imagining, then it's done. That's the secret. Now, as for the guy, he utilized what? Sound, the sense of hearing. So try using that today. For instance, maybe you were told you have an incurable disease, or you just lost your job, or your partner wants to end things with you. Yo, no matter what your situation is, know what you want and imagine it. And then raise imagination to the state of vision and hear what you want to hear from whoever you want to hear from. And hear it with such clarity until the words take on the tones of reality to where you actually believe that what you're hearing is true. Then it's done. It's done. And look, I get it. There may be times you want to give up because it seems like nothing's changing, like how the guy still saw the cancers on his face every day. But if imagining creates reality, and as his story demonstrates, don't give up, okay? Don't ever give up. That'll be a huge mistake. Go within and just keep hearing what you want over and over again. Just keep hearing it. Because as Neville says, for an assumption, though false, if persisted in, will harden into fact. Because you get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to help support this channel. And the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and of course I've spread this message. And if you need a real change in your life and you feel connected to my work, let's work together. Click the link below for one-on-one -on -one coaching with me on things like manifesting and even faith issues. Like I always say, more is coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.